So in this video, I'll take you through how to critique a chest X-ray using the Paceman image evaluation technique, which by the way, doesn't just apply to chest X-rays, but really any region of interest, which stands for positioning, area, collimation, exposure, marker, aesthetics, and name. So let me explain what each of those are and what exactly we're evaluating. Positioning really refers to whether the patient is in the correct position. Are they rotated? Are they tilting left or right? Are they leaning back and forth too much? Does the image correctly show the needed joint spaces? That kind of thing. Area refers to whether there's enough of the anatomical region of interest that's been covered. Has there been anything cut off or has there been any area exposed that didn't really need to be? Really addressing whether or not the relevant bones and organs of interest are being obscured in any way. Collimation is similar to area, but is mainly referring to how well the beam has been collimated side to side and top to bottom. As it hasn't been collimated too tightly, potentially cutting something off, or is it too wide, exposing an area and also degrading the image quality through the increased scatter. Exposure is really referring to the KVP and the MAS that was set. Like, was it appropriate for that region of interest, size and density? How does the image look in general? Like, does it have enough contrast? Is it good enough contrast density? Is there too much noise, AKA the quantum model, which is that graininess that you see when you have low MAS? And if you have an exposure that's too high or too low, how would we need to change it in order to produce a better image? Markers is an easy one. It's obviously referring to whether you have your left or right markers included. And if there was, is it on the correct side? And if it's facing the correct way? and if it's back to front or not, that kind of thing. But it's not just the left or right markers, it could also be the markers that were post-processed on, for example, was it taken supine or erect or weight bearing, etc. Aesthetics is an interesting one. It's basically asking whether an image looks nice to look at. I like to think of it as a combination of all the previous ones above. As in, is it centered properly? Is the four-way collimation good? Does the exposure make it look okay? And you know, some people also use the letter A in this case to look for artifacts, because depending on whether it's a physical artifact or post-processing, uh, it can cause an effect on the image's aesthetics. And lastly, name, which really just refers to whether the image correctly identifies the patient. Does it have the proper name, date of birth, examination details shown, etc.? Does it have any other relevant identification details present? That kind of thing. And for university and exam purposes, for the most part, this one's always a freebie because any image you get given or seen is always going to be anonymized. So you can say something like no name or patient details are seen as they have been anonymized. 